Hi all BD Armory fans, uh, this is JR speaking and uh, on this video I'm going to, this is like the, the intermediate tutorial to build um, modular missiles uh, I'm going to build an um, air-to-air missile uh, I would say that this is a, a bit a more difficult than the previous video that I, I recorded so let's begin uh, as you can see here this is a build a uh, missile that I did the other day this is actually a replica, it's an R37M replica I tried to match the, the mass of the missile and the, the specifications uh, but for on this video I'm going, to, I'm going to just build one from scratch okay? just for the sake of speed I'm going to take uh, the B9 procedural wings but the rest, and uh, maybe also the uh, engine but the rest I'm going to build it to, to build it from, from scratch. So let's remove this. I'm going to call this, I don't know, uh, R39X for example, why not? And okay, so the very first part that you need is the actually the core, okay? Of course I am using the procedural procedural BD modular missile part. I guess that you, you are watching this video, you already know what I'm talking about, but I will put the the link on on the video as well, okay, on the description. So let's begin with the with the core. Uh, the default size, I, I would say that is enough. Maybe if you want to do it a bit more aerodynamic, and maybe we can also change the the texture if you want. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do, you see the guidance type. Of course, if you want to do an AAM missile, you want to change the guidance to our, our missile. Missile. Okay, here we are. Now, maybe you also need to change the active rather range. Um, on this video, I'm, going, I'm using actually FAR, as you can see here, and also I am playing with real solar system. So I want to I'm going to increase this a bit more, okay? Maybe it's 40 kilometers. Um, also the max la static launch range. Let's put 40 as well. Well, I mean you want I, you can stick with the minimum that you want, okay? The detonation distance range. I haven't yet added the explosive amount, but I'm going to put something sensible for for air to air missile ok the drop time 1 second for example the engage distance to 40 um, and yeah I'm going to this I'm going to put the false the surface and the surface level um, and yeah you can put also the name here let's call it R39X I think this is more or less set yeah I think it's completely fine okay so now we have the code ready the next part that you want to add is this explosive right so here we are procedural procedural high explosive and we have here around 12 kilograms. I'm going to put only, for example, 10. I think it should be enough. Ah, damn it. Two hundred millimeters. Okay. I'm going to reduce the length a bit. Okay. 10 kilograms of explosive that is giving us around 34 meters blaze radius okay so it's yeah 20 is pretty nice I think okay now I'm going to change also the texture right I actually I need to do any release of this mod because the textures that I provided there are actually are quite ugly I think now, the engine that I'm going to use for this missile is going to be a solid solid state. Actually, or where is the... Give me one second. 
Let's see if I can find. Okay, you have here the one that I provide also. It actually is, is equivalent to this one, but the size is already matching the the same factor that I have for the other parts. I'm going to remove also the texture. Really, I, I don't like that. Okay, this one, so I think it's fine. I'm going to change this a bit as well. Okay, I think that's fine. Okay, so now we have like a TWR wide stream, I would say. Maybe we can reduce it a bit, I think it's a good idea to reduce it just a bit, to have, I don't know, five or something like that. At least, uh, at least I would say 30 seconds of burn, okay? 33 is fine. And the only thing pending now is actually the control surface, right? I always add 4 here. Given that this is a um, AAM missile, you want to add, you want you want to optimize the the, ha the maneuver maneuverability as much as possible, okay? So I'm going to actually put this here, I'm going to reduce this a bit, I'm going to I'm going to try to optimize Okay, I think that's fine And also, I'm going to try to put two more, one set more here on the front. Hmm, that's maybe. I'm going to make it smaller now. Okay. And now I'm going to see how it behaves when I and the when we run out of fuel here. Yeah, I think it's quite nice. As you can see, it's not it's only moving slightly to the front, the center of mass. And that's good. Okay. Maybe we can actually try to do it a bit smaller. And I can try to move this to, to the front. Now if I move this, yeah, I'm going to actually stick with this. Let's see how it behaves. I'm going to move the offset a bit. Okay. Okay. Now let's see also the the authority that we have. Roll your here. Okay here usually what I do I, I reduce this a bit but I'm going to try to leave it as it is and the gimbal I'm going to reduce it a bit as well sometimes it's too too much but yeah actually it should not make a difference I mean let's leave it as it is um, okay I'm going to save this uh, now I'm going to review the uh, the states I need to set the action to stage one for active engine, and I think more, we are more or less set. We have only one stage, 40 kilometers, 33 seconds. I think that's fine. Now, what I need to do now is um, actually to create the sub assemblies as usual. I'm going to create one sub assembly for this the body. R39 body reroute R39 head I think we are ready to go now I'm going to open 
I'm going to open my plane here and let's attach the the new missiles to the plane. Okay. First of all, I'm going to check this. Okay. I don't know why, why I have this. Okay, as you can see here, I have previously attached my uh, the other missiles of the build. I'm going to remove them. Okay. Okay, and now, as usual, you need to know that you need uh, you need a decoupler, okay? A stack separator, decoupler, whatever you want to use. But you need something, okay, to, to be able to 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 use the missile. Uh, actually, I don't know why it's here. I'm going to put it a bit lower. I will move it later. Uh, now let's let's drop the body. Perfect. Nice. And now the head. Hey. Ooh, ooh, almost. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to move this back to the previous position. Damn it. Okay, uh, let's review this. I think we are, I think we are ready to test it. Okay, I'm going to save and launch. And let's see how it goes. I think it should be, should be okay. So what I'm going to do now, as I said, this is, I'm using FAR, I'm using real solar system. I'm going to spawn two planes. I'm going to put the one of the planes as a target, just flying straight. And then I'm going to try to lock with the other plane and shoot it down. So let's expand the other. I'm going to reduce the speed a bit. Perfect. Now I'm going to go to the other plane. Let's wait a bit. Uh, I'm going to start the modules. Have the radar here. Have the visual range. 200 kilometers, or not, actually it's 2,000 kilometers, right? Um, and yeah, let's, let's take off.
Okay, I'm going to lock, but I'm going to fire the missile manually. I think it's working pretty nice. I'm going to switch it to the other. Here it comes. Okay, because I put the due to the twenty meters radius, and actually, given that it's coming from behind, it only. Uh, destroy the uh, some of the parts. It's not a critical hit. At this one time, yes. Okay, so this is the, uh, the tutorial, the intermediate tutorial for air-to-air -air missiles. I hope you like it and stay tuned for the advanced level. For the advanced le level, my idea is to actually create a ballistic missile for very long range. Maybe something about rel maybe something like 500 kilometers or something like that. Okay, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.